Did you know that you can use your Nintendo Switch with your iPad or even a PS5 or an Xbox? It's actually incredibly easy to do and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. But before we jump into everything, if you end up liking this video, if you find it helpful and you wanna see more content from us in the future, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, but of course, please consider subscribing uh, so that you don't miss any more of our content in the future. All right, so here's everything that you need to get this up and running. I promise the list might seem a little long or this might seem hard. It is incredibly easy. And also I'll have everything that you need linked down in the description below. Uh, and I'm gonna say Switch from here on out, but know that you can use any console, PS5, um, your Xbox, anything with your HDMI port, that's what you need primarily. Um, but the first thing you're gonna need is iPad OS 17, and you can get the public beta. Again, I'll leave the link down below, uh, or you can wait until later on next month here at the end of September when iPad OS should be officially released. But the public beta, you know, there are a couple of bugs here and there, but it's pretty good. And if you wanna do this right now, Go ahead, hop in the description down there and click on the link to download the beta. So the next thing you're gonna need is probably the hardest thing because you're gonna actually have to spend some money if you don't already have one. You're gonna need a video capture card. Again, I'll have it linked in the description below. This one's like 20 bucks. Um, and it's basically a USB-C to HDMI dongle. Uh, you're gonna plug that into the USB-C port of your iPad. And then we're gonna plug the HDMI cord from your console to your um, little dongle here, the capture card. And that's really it. And then you're gonna need an app. And there are not a ton of apps available right now, but I definitely envision that changing in the future once iPad OS 17 is officially available. But there is one in beta that you can publicly join right now. It's linked in the description. I'm gonna keep saying that. Uh, but you can go ahead and sign up for that and download that app. And then uh, there is one other optional accessory and that's a USB-C dock or if you have the Magic Keyboard case, you're just gonna want another USB-C port uh, in order to keep your iPad charged because that video capture card isn't gonna supply any power. But if you have a USB-C dock, you can you know, plug things into there uh, and then you can go ahead and keep that powered. But I'm using my uh, Magic Keyboard and so I plug in the power supply or the power cable into the USB-C port on the keyboard and then I have my iPad's USB-C port available for the video capture card. And those are all the things you need to to get this up and running and you've probably already figured out how to do this just by you know gathering the information of what you need it's pretty self-explanatory but i'll quickly walk you through it just go ahead and take that dongle plug it into the bottom of the ipad pro or ipad with a USB C port and then you're going to take your hdmi cable plug that into the hdmi portion of the video capture card and then the other end goes to your console which again mine here is the nintendo switch uh, and then turn on your switch launch the capture pro app on your iPad and it should automatically display your console's image right then and there. But if it doesn't, there's a little option to kind of force reload that um, and you should have everything up and running. And honestly, it's worked really, really well. There is like a micro input lag, like very, very small, honestly, pretty much not noticeable in my opinion, but it is it's it is there. It's very, very small. It should not impact you on like 90% of the games you're playing. I'm playing uh, Super Mario 3D World and I'm having no issues. Uh, racing games were totally fine. I mean, anything should work for the most part. Maybe like high intense shooter games, you might have like, you might have a little bit of an issue, but for me, it's worked perfectly fine. Um, and I, audio goes through the iPad, but if you wanna pop in AirPods and connect through the iPad, you can do that. So yeah, those are the things you need to get this up and running and use your iPad as a way to play your uh, Switch, your PS5, your Xbox. And it's even better for on-the-go gaming. So if you don't wanna connect it to a TV, but you want a bigger display, uh, I can take my Switch, my iPad Pro, and just a couple of these small accessories here, and then I can have my games played on a larger display wherever I want it. But of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think of this? Uh, is this something you think you're going to do? Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Dreamers. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.